Have you received your COVID vaccine shot for the fall yet? There's already been an increase in COVID cases and hospitalizations in Vermont during August. And now there's a new booster out to battle some of the variants. Meredith Plumpton is an immunization expert with the Vermont Department of Health. Thanks for joining us, Meredith. Meredith, so what can you tell us about the new COVID booster vaccine that's been released and is it available to everyone in Vermont? I can tell you that the new COVID booster is for the currently circulating variants, which is covered under the KP2 variant. And everybody six months and older is recommended to get a new vaccine this fall, and it will be available very shortly. Most pharmacies have it now, and most primary care providers will have it in the next few weeks. So how many different COVID variants are we worried about, and is there a difference in the vaccines as to which variants they're most protective against? Sure, so last year uh, it was a bivalent booster dose, meaning it covered two different variants. And this year they made the recommendation for just the, uh, the monovalent means it means it's covering one variant. So what should your timing be on getting vaccinated this fall? That's a really great question. And I would say talk to your doctor. Most people it's most effective uh, in October and November, depending on case count. And if you're immunocompromised or if you have other health conditions, you may be eligible for two doses of the vaccine. So you could get one sooner and then one um, kind of next season. So a couple of hospitals in the UVM Health Network are now recommending masking for anybody entering their facilities, something that became the practice during the COVID pandemic. So if you've been vaccinated, is there a reason to mask up still? We know that COVID vaccine isn't 100% effective against getting COVID. It's really effective against hospitalizations and death. So um, I would say yes, we know masking works and it's a good way to protect other vulnerable people around you. Staying home when you're sick also works, hand washing works, and staying away from other people if they're sick. So many places are offering both COVID and flu shots at the same time, should you get both together? I did, <laughs> it is okay to do that. So in many places, the number of people getting vaccinated has dropped considerably now that we're out of the pandemic. What are the concerns if enough people aren't getting vaccinated now? So there's uh, something called herd immunity, which means the more people in our community that are vaccinated, the better protection that we all have. And I will say that vaccines are our best defense against all the respiratory viruses. Even if you end up getting sick, your Symptoms are lessened if you're vaccinated and the duration of illness is usually less. Well, great. Lots of informative tips there. Thank you so much, Meredith, for joining us. Thank you.